Welcome back, everyone. It is always nice to have you all on the Scripture Union Puppet Show. Today, we are having a wonderful game show, and our winners will have a lifetime opportunity to be on the Puppet Show live each time. That's right, T. So let's meet our contestants for today. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you for having us on this show. You're welcome. Oh yes, Aunt Anisha, I just want to say my children love the Scripture Union Puppet Show. They always have a great thing to learn about God. Isn't that wonderful? Praise God! Now, will you tell us a bit about yourselves, please? Oh yeah, my wife and I have been married for a long time. And I am blessed to have 15 wonderful children. Wow. There's Patrick, Hannah, Richard, the triplets, Ethan, Emma, and James. Well, Mark, Brian, Annette, oh, oh, that many. Help me, Mrs. Right? Well, back to the show. Let's welcome our contestants. Others are Mr. and Mrs. Don't Know. Give them a warm welcome, everybody. Woo! Yeah! You are I'm well? I'm so excited. I've never been on a TV before. You are welcome. Can I say hi to my kind neighbor? He's always teaching my children in Sunday school. And his wife always shares her food with us, doesn't she, honey? Yes, okay, honey. back to the show. Oh, yes. Plus Andrew, Priscilla, William, Ruth, Peshel, <laughs> and Linda. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful, Mr. Wright? Now, our game tonight is called Name the Verse. And the rules are pretty simple. We ask the verse and you tell us where it is found and what it teaches. Let's get on to it then. Our first question will go to the don't knows. Which verse tells us who will have eternal life with the Lord? Now, let me see. I know it. Yes, it's those who are good, give money to the church, and cook good food for their children. Oh, that's not correct. I knew uh, I shouldn't have let you answer it. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Wright, do you know the answer? Yes, yes. It's John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only one and begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. You are correct. Now for the next question, this one is yours, Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Can you tell us the verse that tells us who needs to have faith in Jesus? Sure. It's that's easy. It's bank robbers, people who tell lies, and murderers. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not correct. It wasn't even your turn yet. Mr. and Mrs. Wright, do you know the verse? Yes. It's Everyone needs Jesus. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That is correct. Our next question is just Mr. and Mr. Don't know. Which verse tells us the consequences of sin? You can be asked to leave the church and be fired from the church ministry. That was pretty close, but I'm afraid it still is not the correct answer. I guess we just don't know. Oh. It's a separation from God forever, according to Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Absolutely, we have a few more questions and I hope that the don't knows can pick up a few points and catch up with the rights who are in the lead right now. That's right, Hannah. Now, our next question is, and it goes to the rights, which verse tells us how God responded to our sin? That's Romans chapter 5, verse 8, but God demonstrates his love for you in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That is correct. And our final question, which is the golden question, is also Mr. and Mrs. Don't Know. You pass this and you win. Absolutely. And your question is, how do we know that we are truly forgiven? Get this one right, honey. 
Of course, go to church every Sunday and teach Sunday school. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Mr. and Mrs. Wright, you win automatically. Congrats to you too. Cool. Well, would you be knowing the answer though? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we know it. It is 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, that is true. Thank you all for joining us. Everyone gets a free cross talk, which will help remind us of these wonderful truths. Also, feel free to share this with all your friends and their neighbors and their neighbors' friends and their neighbors' neighbors' friends and their friends after them and their <laughs> neighbors' friends. Well, you get the point. Our special thanks to the Scripture Union, Advantel, Student Discipleship Ministry, and Creative Ministry Solutions. See you all next time. See you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.